Hello and welcome back to another tutorial for mCrater uh, 1.8.0. Uh, this is an updated version of a custom plant tutorial I did a long time ago out of request. And um, I'll probably leave, if I do update again, I'll, I'll leave the uh, link in the description so you guys can easily just click on that. Um, outside of that, I'll explain more at the end, but uh, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do uh, is import your textures. Uh, it's the same amount of textures, and we're basically doing the exact same thing in the last plant tutorial. We need a seed texture, we also need a food texture, and a block texture. So once you get all those textures ready and to go, just go to the textures tab and import them into the proper groups. The first thing that we're going to be working on uh, getting set up is the seed uh, element. So just uh, give it a name, uh, what you want it to be. I suggest giving it like a mod uh, tag and the item bamboo or whatever name you want after that. Select the texture. Once you've selected the texture, just uh, click next and uh, give the item a GY name so you can uh, continue. Uh, you like to have the seeds under miscellaneous and uh, just click next and next we'll deal with events in a second. Next we're going to be creating a food item so we're going to be going and doing the same kind of tag that we did our mod name and then our element and then the type of item we're going to be creating and just click OK. Food texture and then select your food texture and then click next. Select whatever your settings you want for your food. Also give it a GUI name and uh, if you want any of these settings then select them while you want them now. So and click next. All right, so now what we're gonna be doing is creating the block element or the plant element that you are gonna be growing. Um, first, give it a name for your mod. I'm just gonna call it plant bamboo and then I'm gonna select plant and okay. And um, select the block texture. Make sure to select crop and uh, leave the rest of the settings, but uh, don't forget to switch the radio button over to the other element. Give it a name for the GUI, select what tab you want it under, and select the sound properties. I'm just gonna go plant. So what you wanna do now is create a custom drop, and what we're gonna be dropping is our food item and just go to the element tab and then select your food and drop them out, everything's fine. Um, also make sure to just keep everything the same. I'm gonna do my best to explain how procedures work in this tutorial. Um, it's exactly like events, however, you're actually dragging components over to certain areas to make it do what you want it to do. Um, it's convertible from the old system um, without any flaws and it seems a little more stable than normal with like how events used to be set up. So a lot of the things that I was able to do before are now stable. So just make sure you name it and go to procedures. Uh, once you start you're going to have a box like this, uh, vent trigger. Uh, you don't need to select the drop-down box, but you will need to start with a if statement under logic and loops. Uh, once you get the if statement in, you want to go to logic operators and select the icon with uh, the equal sign. It has one icon on each side, and that's going to be important to build this uh, thing here. Uh, next, what you want to do is go to... Uh, Minecraft and then select the one with one icon. Just drag that into the first slot 
and what you want to do is select blocks and then go and find farmland and click OK. This will basically tell it to only uh, do it on farmland. Next you want to go to block actions, select get block at and then the coordinates and that will consist of where the block has to be for the farmland. Uh, now we need to create a, what we want it to do if these conditions are met. So if there is a um, farmland underneath or where we're clicking, then we want to place a block. And you want to select the block that you want to place. So we're going to go and click our block element. And next what you want to do is just drag out the Y and I'll explain what to do next. So we don't want to place the block right where the farmland is, so what you want to do is go to math and then go to operator and grab the, the one where it's a plus sign, put Y in it, put one in the other slot after adding a number, and what this will do is place the block one block above. So the last thing that we need to do is remove seeds from the player's inventory. Um, basically this acts as consumption of the seeds when placed. So you want to go to player management, remove from provided players inventory, and drag that under uh, placed block, and select your seeds. And then what you want to do is just leave that everything like that. What it's going to do is check to see if there's farmland at current location, and if so then it's going to place the block above farmland and then it's going to remove the seeds from the player's inventory. So uh, next you want to edit your seed element. Uh, this is a good time to select um, kin drop as grass seed and set all that up. But uh, while you're in there, uh, make sure to set the procedure to your seed procedure that you just created. And uh, this will make seeds have that procedure that we just made. So I'm just going to be creating a recipe to basically craft the seeds from the fruit. So what I'm going to be doing is just creating a simple recipe that is um, shapeless and uh, you're going to want to just place your uh, fruit into the center or anywhere around, doesn't really matter and also select the seeds and this will create seeds. You can select the amount, I'm going to say two. I would uh, recommend selecting shapeless recipe. I didn't actually do that in this uh, tutorial though. Uh, once again we're just going to fix up some things in the seed element. Uh, first off we're going to be creating a um, the box where it will drop as grass seeds. So check that box and select 10 just for testing. Um, you don't really need to do anything else here. However, rather than having a miscellaneous, uh, default seeds are under materials. So make sure you to select materials if you want it in the same group as seeds. Um, we already set up the, the procedure, so we don't need to do that now. And uh, that's pretty much all we need to do for seeds right at this moment. Uh, they should be set up uh, completely now that we don't need to do anything else. The next thing that we need to do is create a new um, element or procedure to create uh, the block stacking for the actual block. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an if statement and then select not as a extender onto the if statement. So if not uh, equal to something, uh, which we're going to need a logic operator, and then we need to select um, get block at, and then what we need to do, uh, what you need is a math operator, and then place it in your Y in there, and go plus or negative, and then you want a math number and go negative two. So this will check two blocks below Y for a block that we need to check for right now. Select your block 
and go to our actual block. So this will restrict the growth of the sugarcane to number three, like sugarcane basically. So the next thing that we need to do is create a logic operator on our next if statement that we dragged in. Uh, we need to check to see if equals to something and uh, go to logic operators and select the one we've been using. Drag get block at in there, drag out y and go to math and then select your value operator and a number and then put the number in the last slot and y in the first slot and then drag that onto your y-axis and then go plus one and then what you need is a block to check if a block is at that location so select your block uh, you want it to be error and basically what this is doing is checking if error is one block above after it's determined that there's after the first uh, if statement so now that you have that we want to do a do and you want to place the block at and uh, remove y and go to logic or math operators and select the value that goes with a plus sign and then drag y in there and then you're going to need a number as well so go back to math and select your number and then you want to do plus one to place the block one above just drag that into the do statement and you're pretty much all set up I think this will work pretty fine uh, it should work uh, fine for the next while with mcreator um, basically what's happening now is if it's um, not sugarcane two blocks below it will check if there's error above uh, the block that it's going to be placing and if so then it's going to place the um, block one block above where the air is so that's basically all you need to do to set up your block element or block procedure and um, next we just need to link everything together and get that ready to go so once it's compiled you want to edit your plant and make sure to set the plant to growable plant and click next um, change any details that you want uh, also you want to not have any frequency on trunks if you're going to use it as a growable plant um, just remove it to zero and once you've done that go to the procedures tab and add your procedure for plant and let it compile and once that's all set up you pretty much have everything you need to make this happen um, so I am now in game and I am going to the miscellaneous tab to grab the seeds I need some thing to hoe the land and as you can see it will consume the item and it will naturally grow um, at a given tick rate so this is all great um, it works fine uh, if we grab some more seeds and place a whole bunch down here and we'll set the um, game rule for tick speed to a thousand and you can see the limit that we made in the block um, placement for the block procedure so random tick speed a thousand and you can see it only goes three blocks high so basically what I've done is restricted it to only grow three blocks high like sugar cane and uh, yeah it works fine it drops the actual seeds it's not dropping the one that I'm breaking because it, I'm in creative but it is dropping seed, uh, the fruit so that's good and yeah it works fine and what we want to test now is to make sure that seeds um, 
can't be placed on anything other than farmland so just grab seeds and cl click around seeing if anything um, grows it on it shouldn't by default if you set it up correctly so um, outside of that uh, your food shouldn't be able to be planted on anything because we didn't set it to be planted and uh, yeah that's uh, works pretty well um, I will be continuing tutorials on this version Thank you for watching my video guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that little silver bell for notifications. You can also go to my Google Plus page, I use that as a feed for all my new videos that I publish. If you want to go a little bit further in supporting me, uh, you can also go to my website and do a one-time donation on the donation page or you can subscribe to me on Patreon and, um, and get content earlier than anyone else on YouTube. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, definitely comment in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer your questions or comments. And uh, if I don't get back to you right away, then I might be a little bit busy at the moment, but I will do my best to get back to as many people as I can as with uh, the time that I do have. Uh, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you next time.